Hey everyone, so today I'm coming at you with another YouTube video. Um, sorry that you're like facing like towards me this way, but I just like going over to my window where I usually put you guys. So I just want to do my video while I'm in my bed, I'm comfortable, because I wanted to do, to show you guys what I got from AliExpress really quick, but I have a lot of friends who tell me that I should wear makeup because like just to enhance the beauty that I already have. You know your girl hasn't worn makeup since? prom yeah since prom and they said that i looked really good and now i did my own makeup and it was my first time doing makeup ever so i thought i should try it and i also wanted to get brushes for like face masks and stuff and oh my, oh my gosh this is so soft but i got this first one i guess it's like um a foundation brush i'm gonna be using this one probably for like uh face masks and stuff to put on like peel off masks and stuff and this is like I told you, I was obsessed with rose gold. The tip is rose gold and the bottom is black. So I just thought it was so beautiful. That's the first brush. Get it back in. And then the next two brushes are like eyeshadow brushes. There's um they're the same size, I think. Oh, but this one has a double size. So this one is the top is the same. And then it, this one has a brush. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And then the next couple brushes, where are they? This, these two. I guess they're eyeliner brushes. These ones, eyeliner brushes. So I have these two. Then I have a whole bunch of like lip brushes, eye brushes. I don't know the difference. I have a couple eyebrow brushes. This is for eyebrows, I believe. The angled one. But yeah, so I'm gonna test these out and I'll be right back. Just because I have a whole bunch of face masks and peel off masks that I have, I've been waiting to use because I've been waiting for these brushes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so things that I've been waiting to use are these peel off masks that I got from Giant. Because I've noticed that every time I would squeeze it onto my fingers, I wouldn't get everything out. And there's enough product in here. Like, it's like, fill it up all the way up to here with product. So, I didn't want to waste any more. So, I got a brush. And I'm going to use this one for this side. And then I'm going to use the smaller one to see how fast I can apply it on this side. Okay. So, I have these two brushes. These two are the ones I'm going to use to apply. And then I'll come back and tell you how it worked. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I ended up only using the big one for just not for now, just to save time. And it actually did a pretty good job. Um, I was able to use most of the product. Um, most of it did get around this part of it, which I was expecting it to because I, I didn't really open it all the way. Like I didn't cut out like a a circle. So I like uh, yeah, I didn't cut it out properly, so I, I just ripped off the top of it. But it did get most of the product. The only thing that's left is, like, just this little bubble of product, which is a little bit, like, to me, like, I usually have, like, so much left over because I'm squeezing it out of this little corner of peel-off part. And it's just a waste of time. So, um, I did rinse this off. I'm still trying to see if there is any product on it because I think... I don't know if there is or not, but I don't think there is. I pretty much got most of it off. So if there is, I'll see a whole bunch of peel off stuff in my leg and, and hand. But um, I give this a 10 out of 10. It works just like any other makeup brush would. And it, it's just perfect. It cleans easy. Like, I don't know about the rust. I haven't, you know, I don't know if it's gonna rust or not, but I doubt it is. Like, it looks good quality brush. Like, look at this brush. Like. It's just so beautiful. I also have a brow brush. Oh, no, this is not a brow. This is mascara, but I might use it as just a brow comb because I don't use, wear mascara. So I just use it as like a little little comb for my brows and maybe to even comb my um, eyelashes. But I don't really use mascara because my eyelashes are pretty long. So there's no need to. And I think this is for like when you do have lipstick on and you like just want to get like that extraness around it. 
But yeah, so let me put all these back, and I'm very satisfied with this order that I got. So, like, it's a 10 out of 10, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comment down below. What is your favorite thing to? What do you? What is your favorite makeup brush to use? My favorite so far is this one. This is the only one I've used so far. But I will review the rest when I get makeup or whatever when I'm using it. Yeah. So just leave a comment down below. What's your favorite brush to use? And most people will say that like the brush they use to like when they bake, when they put makeup on and they put the translucent powder on their baking, they use that big puffy brush. I guess the blush brush. But I like this one. I don't even know if this one's for, but I'm going to use it as my face mask one. And, yeah. Let me comment. I'll also, give this video a thumbs up. If you want me to do the blackhead, the DIY blackhead removal with the charcoal and the blue in my next video. So, yeah. Bye, guys.